So another measure of interest between two points is the midpoint. That's the point that's directly in the middle of a line segment that connects two points. So say we have two generic points. I'm going to call this one x1, y1. And that's point P. And say we have point Q, which is x2, y2. And I wanted to know the midpoint. That's going to be, if I draw a line segment between those two points, what point is that dab smack in the middle of that line segment? So that's what the midpoint is, okay? So that means I want to know what x value is directly in the middle of these two x values. And I want to know what y value is directly in the middle of these two y values. So think about this. How could I figure out the middle number between two numbers? So you can use what's called the average. The average tells you what number is directly in the middle of two numbers. And so how do you find the average? You add those two numbers up and divide it by the number of numbers. And so in this case, two. So if I want to find the number that's directly in the middle of these x's, then I will add x1 and x2 and divide it by two. Same thing here. If I want to find the y that's directly in the middle, I will add y1 and y2 and divide it by two. And so that's where your midpoint formula comes from. It is x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. So in other words, it's the average of the x's and the average of the y's. And so that's how you find the midpoint. Okay, so for this example, we want to find the midpoint of the line segment that connects these two points, negative 2, 7, and negative 4, 11. And so basically, if we want to know the midpoint, we just want to take the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So how do you take the average of the x's? So your midpoint is going to be found by adding your two x's together and dividing them by 2 and adding your two y's together and dividing them by 2. So here you get negative 2 minus 4, which is negative 6 over 2, and 7 plus 11, which is 18 over 2. And so that becomes negative 3, and that becomes 9. And so the point that, di that is directly in the middle of that line segment is negative 3, 9. Okay, now you try this one. See if you can find the midpoint of the line segment that connects these two points, negative 7, negative 4, and 2, 5. So pause the video for a moment and you give it a try. So the midpoint is found by taking the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So your midpoint should have been found by adding your two x's together and dividing them by two, and then adding your two y's together and dividing them by two. You add the two x's together, you get negative five over two. Add the two y's together, you get one over two. And so your midpoint ends up being fraction. So negative five halves, which if you want to, you can write that as negative 2.5, and one half as 0.5. So it just depends on um, what the homework is asking for, it may ask you to leave it as a fraction or you can put it as a decimal. And so that's how you find the midpoint. You're just taking the average of the x's, the average of the y's. If for some reason you have any questions about the midpoint, make sure you put it in the comments below. And if you want to check out more math videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you can get a notification every time I drop a new video. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.